Kathy Vick, Deep Eel Wake Chats 2017. I'm gonna call this home in my skin. It has to be brief. I have things to do this fine early morning. It's Sunday, I get to go perform. Um, it's bothered me how uh, this seems to be something that is a compulsion I have to continue and I knew I wasn't complete. I felt complete but I wasn't complete and I couldn't figure out what to do for myself except just be patient. So I was. And yesterday, last night, it came. Um, it's all right there. And I kind of feel like maybe there might be one or two people who have uh, been following along um, saying, when's she going to get it? I don't know. When do you think she's going to get it? I don't know. Maybe never. It's pretty obvious. What's the unifying theory? What's the explanation for all of this? I didn't like the I didn't like the identity or the context of um, straight up ascension. It's too Judeo Christian. It's too limiting. Sure, I'm a confirmed Lutheran, but I am not. A, I'm not. I'm not just that. So then I walked it back. Okay, well, what I really identify is as is um, Hindu. So all right, <clears throat> that's older, but. What feels best, the wise and gentle um, knowledge of the of the indigenous, that's what feels best. But I don't really feel like I can own that because we, the white people have done such horrible things to them, to the most wise and gentle among us. And I don't think that it's right for me to then walk in and say, oh, by the way, I'd like your philosophy and your identity too. Thanks. <laughs> I think that's gross. So where does that leave me? And then I've, I've found myself with the ancients, with the indigenous. Well, that makes sense. But it goes back further. Not only have I really do, uh, well, the indigenous, they all know about star people. That's where, where we all came from is the stars and star people would come down and explain things and be nice to them and be terrible and scary sometimes, I guess, but um, they were a benevolent race. <laughs> sometimes they're of the earth, they come out of the earth, but there's, this, there's these beings that don't look quite like you and they, they, they hit you with knowledge and love. Well, that's sort of... Um, if you go back into the into the esoteric history, that's what it's been about. Visitors come, say, "Hey, here's some knowledge." Boom, All right, have at it. Bye, and then they they leave, and that's kind of what parents do. <laughs> hey, I noticed you're struggling. Hey, here, boom. Let me hit this on. Let me put this on you. Boom. Okay, I trust you. You're smart and brave and beautiful. So. That, that is all. <laughs> so, can I have an identity that is, uh, where's my identity, what's my context, right? I think that's what I was struggling with. Going from the identity or the context of mother and daughter and um, wife and ex-wife and lover and all that to bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger but being comfortable with it feeling it is natural and truly I don't know when I hit the stage today when I hit those risers I don't have to feel as socially awkward as I used to it's that's what I when I woke up this morning it's the the thoughts are still there the star the star people are still there and as a star person I can I can I can do anything I really can that's my identity that's my context ah! I'm so excited that's why I truly can say I'm no one's guru I'm no one's 
guide, really. I'm just... I've been able to go back to the place where I get it. Now, the other thing is that I've had these really weird ex events, all right? I've had experiences that when I listen to near-death experience panelists, their abilities, their straight-up abilities, which are paranormal, I also possess. And I couldn't really explain that portion of my being using ascension or Hinduism, really. Got closer, but no. This is a scientific thing. I had an event in May where I had a beam of light that felt like it was physical and it had sound go through my head. And when I woke up, I felt like I was a galaxy smushing my my leg probes into a wetsuit and I could hear it. It was the weirdest thing. And then I had to figure out how to stand in this body and then like put it on somehow. It was the weirdest thing. And then I slumbered to my bed and went back to bed. Well, it's not, that's not a walk-in situation, that's an expansion. But I know that the heart of the galaxy, the heart of the multiverse, is a source of benevolent love that is so profound and unspeakable. That's where we come from. And sure, you can put it in Judeo-Christian terms, or Hindu terms, or Native American terms, or transpersonal terms. Make your, you know, Savior or your Jesus, your lover, it, you know, whatever. These are all metaphors for what's going on for me. Just for me. It's like that whale image they gave me and you. Imagine a whale. You see the whale swimming in the ocean. So alone, it's so alone, it doesn't have a pod. No, it has a, it's swimming with a pod. It's just that you can't see the pod because you don't have the eyesight to see. It swims with buddies who are vibrating higher and can't be, they're not visible. It doesn't mean they're not there. And they had used that metaphor for me, but I hadn't really, and us, but I hadn't really applied it. And now I can. No wonder I feel lonely. And my friend told me this one time, you know, if you know you're the only one like you around for a lot, for, you better get used to it. And I didn't like that, but I did like it. Now I understand it. So I'm really excited. And I can say I'm a star child without really knowing where I come from. I don't have a... a I come from this... I've come from source, baby. We all do. And I've had lots of pit stops. I've done this ascension thing lots of times. This is, this is an important one. And I'm here doing a double backflip sow cow thingy do for Creator and for you and for me. It's a blast. But now as a star person, 9-11. Yes, 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 9-11. Ha! I'm gonna uh, go take a shower and uh, go fit in. <laughs> it doesn't give me, the, it doesn't fill me with anything but okay. That sounds good. That's a valid pursuit. And now I can, I can, I, it just, Honey, it's different. And it has to be documented. Not because I'm going to forget, but because I want to celebrate and I want to remember. Because I'm home in my skin. And I don't need to go to anybody and, and make sure about this.
I don't, I don't, and I don't have to breathe a word of it. And if you don't see it, it just doesn't matter. I don't even care. That's how I know this is the truth. That's how I know. Because my spine is straight. And my head is clear. And I can breathe deep. And my gut is uh, relaxed. My muscles aren't seized up. I don't have to adopt any of the human constructs. But I can acknowledge that I have been within them and I have seen them as me. And I have utter compassion for anyone experiencing that kind of pain. And I can't uh, differentiate between human and non-human. That's not all right. Look at my skin. Look at my eyes. I'm human. But I am of the earth, but not from the earth. And I'm really happy with that now. I've been here a long time. And I will be here until the experiment is over. Part of me. But I know how big I am now. And I don't feel trapped anymore. That's my gift. And I'm very happy to give it to myself this day. Humanity this day. And to my family. Oh, the celebration. Oh, the joy. The homecoming. I know who I am now. I know what I am now. I understand what it is I am, have been, and always will be. And it never needs to be spoken about again, really. I don't have any questions anymore. I don't have anything to fight against anymore. Just, just things to celebrate now. Uh, putting things together and creating now. <laughs> so I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta. I don't remember my words. I gotta. I don't, the words are like word salad when I sing because it's they're really really fast and, and it's really great. But I need to. Um, I need to learn that and I need to be pretty and I don't know what I'm gonna wear. And I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to wear. If it's just all black and a little white, a little, little blue, or if it's black and blue. And I'm just so confused. So, and I gotta take a shower, so I got lots to do. And I'm, there's not any of that blanket at all. There's no darkness. There's just, it's just gone. It's just playtime. I think that's, that deserves, uh, uh, articulation. And I love those moments when I can hear them cheering. When I hear them singing. When I know that they're going, oh, yes, yes, yes. And today is that day. Big day. Energetically. And I am so rewarded energetically when I open my mouth and sing. <laughs> yeah, going to be Vortex City at Mile High tonight, today. <laughs> and I get to come home and care for my self and my son and put one foot in front of the other and uh, get organized and I finally want to I finally can oh my god oh my god oh my god 
It's another storyline that closed. It's another. <laughs> it's, it's just wonderful. I'm so lucky. And yeah, there's gonna be lots of other stuff that gets done. Lots of lots of stories. That's fine. Let them roll. Let them roll. <laughs> I know who I am. <laughs> I know who's speaking the story, and I know um, who's interpreting the story, and I know who's generating the story now. And I'm in accord. I'm a star person. And an ancient, an ancestor. But I'm also, and this is true biologically, I have Jewish blood, Native American blood. African blood. <laughs> I had some uh, relatives that were um, variety hounds. No, and I had uh, yeah, a, a, a great great grandmother from Eastern Europe who emigrated to Norway seeking refuge from persecution. I represent a lot of the human condition and the human drama. I do. I have the tracer of hemophilia. I have all that, all that. And it's a lot to take in. So I'm going to leave you this way. Completely self-indulgent, this work, of course. And, you know, if you, it, 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 I'm certain it will be criticized as such. That's fine. It doesn't matter. That's a criticism from somebody who's not want, not willing to do the same kind of work, and that's legitimate too. But it's a criticism because this is a work of of cumulative learning and of self discovery. And there are many ways to define oneself. Defining oneself in context to others, well, <laughs> that's sort of the name of the game, isn't it? But this has been about finding my own energetic signature. And I didn't have that until today, until this morning, in my 55th year, with less than a month to go. <laughs> I'm bringing it up, <laughs> bringing it in. <laughs> At the very end. But imagine my 56th year, a year of illumination, after having a year of internal and external change. Yes, walking around knowing who I am, knowing who I am, loving who I am, understanding who I am, appreciating who I am, and being able to give it away because I can afford it, because I know what my source is, and I can see the suffering, and I don't resonate with it, but I sure know I've been there. I know how it feels. I remember. And so, remembering. I give love. I see the person and I ignore the behavior because it's going to pass. That person who's crying or hitting or whatever they're doing, they're from the stars too. They just don't know it. And it's so big. How can how could I expect everybody to know? There are some people who are, you know, we're all from the stars, we're all from the stars, but some of us are just older. We just have different, you know, just have different roles. I don't think everybody would want to do this role. I think this is one of those roles that, you know, <laughs> if somebody says, hey, I'd like to do that, everyone goes, oh, good, good, that's great. Thank God she's around. <laughs>
<laughs> so there you go. That's <laughs> so the mouthpiece is spoken. I'm complete in a brand new way. I'm so happy, so free, and so ready. So relieved. So, namaste.